Hello, lovely viewers. Are you ready to embark on an incredible journey through the stunning landscapes and rich history of Portugal? Well, you're in for a treat. From the vibrant streets of Lisbon to the sun-soaked beaches of the Algarve, and from the magical castles of Sintra to the terraced vineyards of Douro Valley, we're about to explore the 20 best places to visit in Portugal. But hey, this is just the beginning. If you're as excited as I am to discover these amazing destinations, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right now. By subscribing, you'll be joining our travel community and ensuring you never miss out on the adventure, inspiration, and travel tips that I love to share. So, get ready to dive into the beauty and culture of Portugal, one destination at a time. Don't miss out on any of the exciting content coming your way. Hit the notification bell and let's embark on this incredible journey together. Now, let's get started. 1. Lisbon, where past meets present, showcases vibrant streets and historic landmarks. Our adventure begins in the heart of Portugal, the enchanting city of Lisbon. This capital city is a captivating blend of old world charm and modern vibes. Get lost in the narrow alleyways of Alfama, the oldest district, and discover its soulful father music, a genre that expresses the heartache and passion of the Portuguese people. Don't forget to ride the iconic Tram 28, winding through the historic quarters. Fun fact, Lisbon is known as the City of Seven Hills, offering breathtaking panoramic views from every corner, especially from the São Jorge Castle. Two. Porto, cheers to tradition and port wine, highlights the Douro River and Porto's wine cellars. Next on our list is Porto, Portugal's second largest city. Set against the stunning backdrop of the Douro River, Porto is famous for its historic Ribeira district and its world-renowned port wine. Take a relaxing cruise along the river to witness the city's colorful houses lining the waterfront. And speaking of wine, did you know that the world-famous port wine is produced right here in the Douro Valley? The historic wine cellars of Vila Nova de Gaia store some of the finest vintages that have been aging for centuries. Three, Sintra, a fairy tale escape, displays Sinatra's majestic palaces and lush landscapes. Prepare to step into a fairy tale as we venture, we venture into Sintra. This magical town is adorned with exquisite palaces, like the colorful Paina Palace perched high on a hill, and the mysterious Quinta de Rigolero with its enchanting gardens and secret tunnels, which were designed with Masonic and esoteric symbolism. Fun fact, Sintra's unique microclimate makes it a lush paradise where exotic plants thrive. The cool and misty atmosphere adds an air of mystery and romance to every corner of this UNESCO World Heritage Site.
4. Cask eyes, sun, sea, and sophistication shows beautiful beaches and upscale scenes. Let's soak up the sun in Cask eyes, a chic coastal town just a short drive from Lisbon. With its pristine beaches, charming marina, and vibrant art scene, Cask eyes exudes an elegant yet relaxed vibe. This former fishing village has transformed into a trendy destination while retaining its maritime roots. Did you know that the Boca do Inferno, or Mouth of Hell, is a dramatic sea cave formation that's a must-see here? It's a testament to the raw power of the Atlantic Ocean against the rugged coastline. Five, Faro, gateway to the Algarve, highlights Faro's historic center and natural beauty. Our fifth stop takes us to Faro, the gateway to the stunning Algarve region. Beyond its beautiful beaches, Faro boasts a rich history reflected in its well-preserved medieval walls and the captivating Faro Old Town. This town's vibrant markets, historic architecture, and proximity to the Ria Formosa Natural Park make it an enticing destination. Fun fact. The charming Ilha Deserta, or Deserted Island, is just a short boat ride away from Faro's coast, and it's a haven for birdwatchers and nature lovers with its untouched dunes and crystal clear waters. Six, Albufeira, sun, sand, and culture. A montage showcases Albufeira's beaches, historic sites, and vibrant nightlife. Our sixth journey begins in Albufeira, a coastal paradise nestled in the Algarve region. Known for its pristine beaches that stretch along the Atlantic, Albufeira offers not just sun-soaked relaxation, but also a glimpse into the country's rich history. The town's charming old quarter boasts cobblestone streets and whitewashed buildings, showcasing Albufeira's Moorish roots. Fun fact, Albufeira transforms into a vibrant nightlife hub after sundown, making it a place where you can bask in the sun by day and dance under the stars by night. Seven, Lagos, nature's masterpiece, showcases Lagos' stunning cliffs, sea caves, and coastal beauty. Our journey continues to Lagos, a coastal town that's a true masterpiece of nature. Dramatic sea cliffs, hidden coves, and mesmerizing sea caves await your discovery along the Algarve coast. Don't miss the iconic Ponta de Piedade, where towering rock formations create a breathtaking backdrop against the azure waters. And for history enthusiasts, Lagos was a key port during Portugal's age of exploration, connecting the country to the rest of the world. Fun fact, some of the earliest African slave markets were established right here in Lagos.
8. Queenborough, where tradition meets intellect, highlights Queenborough's historic university, libraries, and charming streets. Let's shift gears and explore the city of Queenborough, which exudes a unique blend of tradition and intellect. Home to one of the oldest universities in Europe, Queenborough University's Joan Anna Library houses centuries-old books and exquisitely detailed architecture. Walking through the city's medieval streets, you'll feel the echoes of history and academic pursuit. Did you know that Queenborough has its own traditional Fathu music style, characterized by its melancholic yet soul-stirring melodies? Braga, a tapestry of faith and heritage, showcases Braga's cathedrals, religious festivals, and historic sites. Next up, we're off to Braga, a city steeped in religious heritage and architectural marvels. From the stunning Sé de Braga, one of Portugal's oldest cathedrals, to the BOM Jesus do Monte Sanctuary with its grand Baroque staircases, Braga is a tapestry woven with faith and history. The city is also known for its vibrant festivals like Semana Santa or Holy Week, which brings the streets to life with colorful processions and deep-rooted traditions. Aveiro, the Venice of Portugal, displays Aveiro's canals, colorful boats, and Art Nouveau architecture. Our tenth destination is Aveiro, often referred to as the Venice of Portugal. This charming coastal town is famous for its network of picturesque canals, adorned with colorful Malacero boats. As you glide through the waterways, you'll be treated to views of Art Nouveau architecture and bustling markets. Don't forget to sample Ovo's Moles, a sweet local delicacy that's as delightful as Aveiro itself. Fun fact, Aveiro's salt pans have been a vital part of the region's economy for centuries, producing high-quality sea salt. Eleven, Evora, a journey through time, showcases Evora's historic architecture, Roman ruins, and vibrant culture. Our eleventh adventure begins in the charming town of Evora, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that's a true journey through time. Wander through the narrow streets lined with whitewashed houses, and you'll feel like you've stepped into a living history book. The Roman Temple of Evora, dating back to the first century, is a remarkable testament to the town's ancient past. Fun fact, Evora is known for its Chapel of Bones, a chapel decorated with human bones, serving as a reminder of the transient nature of life.
12. Fatima, a place of pilgrimage and faith, highlights Fatima's religious significance, basilica, and pilgrimage sites. Our next stop takes us to Fatima, a place of profound spiritual significance. Fatima is famous for the apparitions of the Virgin Mary that occurred here in 1917. The Fatima Sanctuary and its stunning basilica attract millions of pilgrims each year. Beyond its religious importance, Fatima offers a serene atmosphere and beautiful gardens to explore. Fun fact, the Chapel of the Apparition stands on the exact spot where the Virgin Mary is said to have appeared. Thirteen, Guimarães, Cradle of Portugal, showcases Guimarães' medieval architecture, castle, and historical sites. Venturing into the north of Portugal, we arrive in Guimarães, often referred to as the Cradle of Portugal. This picturesque town played a pivotal role in the country's formation. The Guimarães castle stands as a symbol of its rich history, and the medieval streets exude an old-world charm. The historic center is a UNESCO site, preserving its unique character. Did you know that Guimarães was the birthplace of the first king of Portugal, Afonso Henriquez? Fourteen, Madeira, nature's paradise, displays Madeira's lush landscapes, botanical gardens, and hiking trails. Prepare to be enchanted by the beauty of Madeira, an island paradise in the Atlantic Ocean. With its lush landscapes, colorful gardens, and breathtaking viewpoints, Madeira is a haven for nature lovers. Explore the Levada trails that wind through mountains and forests, offering stunning vistas at every, at every turn. Fun fact. Madeira is known for its unique levadas, which are irrigation channels that also double as scenic hiking paths. Portimo. Sun, sea, and adventure highlights Portimo's beaches, water sports, and coastal activities. Our 15 destinations bring us to Portimo, a coastal gem that's all about sun, sea, and adventure. This vibrant town boasts beautiful beaches where you can soak up the rays or take part in thrilling water sports. The sea caves and rock formations along the coast are a must-see, and boat tours offer an unforgettable way to explore them. Fun fact, Portimo is famous for hosting the annual Portimo Global Ocean Race, a prestigious sailing event. Sixteen, Viana do Castelo, a seaside escape, highlights Viana do Castelo's coastal charm, 
historic sites, and festivals, our next adventure begins in the coastal haven of Viana do Castello, where history and nature converge. This picturesque town boasts a stunning waterfront adorned with colorful boats, charming houses, and a blend of architectural styles. The iconic Basilica de Santa Luzia offers breathtaking panoramic views of the town and the Atlantic Ocean. Fun fact, Viana do Castello hosts the Romaria de Nossa Senhora de Agonia, one of Portugal's most colorful and vibrant festivals. Seventeen, Abydos, stepping into a fairy tale, showcases Abydos' medieval walls, cobblestone streets, and castle. Our journey continues to Abydos, a town that feels straight out of a fairy tale. Encircled by medieval walls, Abydos is a treasure trove of cobblestone streets, charming houses, and historic churches. The Abydos castle stands as a majestic centerpiece, and you will feel transported to another era as you explore its narrow alleys. Did you know that Abydos is known for its traditional guinea liqueur, served in chocolate cups? Eighteen, Tomar, Knights Templar Legacy, highlights Tomar's Knights Templar Castle, Convent of Christ, and historic significance. Next on our journey, we arrive at Tomar, a town steeped in history and intrigue. The Convent of Christ, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a masterpiece of Gothic and Renaissance architecture. Tomar was once a stronghold of the Knights Templar, and their legacy is palpable as you wander through the castle and the Templar's Charola. Fun fact, the castle of Tomar's round window was designed to align with the summer solstice sunrise, a testament to the Templars' deep understanding of astronomy. Algarve, sun, sea, and beyond showcases Algarve's stunning beaches, coastal landscapes, and outdoor activities. Our journey takes us to the Algarve, a region renowned for its sun-soaked beaches and diverse landscapes. From the dramatic cliffs of Lagos to the golden sands of Albufeira, the Algarve offers endless opportunities for relaxation and adventure. But there's more to explore here, like the quaint fishing villages, vibrant markets, and hidden coves waiting to be discovered. Did you know that Algarve is home to some of the world's best golf courses? Twenty. Douro Valley, a vineyard paradise, 
highlights Doru Valley's terraced vineyards, wine culture, and river cruises. Our final destination leads us to the breathtaking Doru Valley, a wine lover's paradise. The terraced vineyards lining the hills create a mesmerizing mosaic of colors and textures. This is where the world-renowned port wine is produced, and you can explore the wine cellars and taste the fruits of the region's labor. Don't miss a scenic cruise along the Doru River, offering unparalleled views of the valley's beauty. Fun fact, the Doru Valley's wine tradition dates back over 2,000 years. And there you have it, dear viewers, a captivating glimpse into the incredible beauty and diversity that Portugal has to offer through its 20 best places to visit. From the historic cities to the charming coastal towns, Portugal truly unfolds like a treasure trove of experiences. But our journey doesn't have to end here. If you're as fascinated by Portugal as I am and want to continue exploring the world with me, be sure to stay connected. Hit that notification bell to be notified of our upcoming adventures. Thank you for joining me in uncovering the wonders of Portugal. And until we set out on our next adventure, remember to keep exploring and keep your travel dreams alive.